Hello, I'm president of Library Association of Latvia and chief librarian in Library Development Center of National Library of Latvia and will tell you briefly about new trends and practices in the work of libraries of Latvia during the last three years. Uh, the presentation is based on the annual report of libraries in Latvia in last three years and will give an overview of the main trends, uh, challenges, new services and activities in public and academic library sector. A presentation about school libraries is given by my colleague in, other, in another session of this conference. Here you can see some actual numbers from the last year. I will no, not go in details of e, in each of them. It's only an insight for you to have a general overview. Here you, here you can see actual numbers of our libraries. And here you can see some numbers of library staff and the um, uh, total number of readers reg registered in libraries of Latvia. Um, uh, you can put up. In, um, in general, the library network in Latvia we can consider as stable. However, our libraries are very different, with different funding, different results, different level of development and innovations. Population decline in our country naturally leads to a decrease of the number of libraries. There are seen changes to the structure of libraries, implement, implementing of centralization model, workload reductions on, or combination with other duties, etc. At the same time, requirements from the side of readers and society are growing. Unfortunately, the increase in salaries mostly doesn't keep up with the increase in the requirements and duties of librarians. And it still contributes problem of aging. In some regions, 50 plus are already 75% of librarians making consequences on skills, especially with ECT related ones. What comes to main trends, decrease in loans and on-site visits and increase in virtual visits is nothing new. The same trend we can see in many countries, I suppose in Estonia and Lithuania too. Another trend is if library is active in event organization and social media, that gives result not only in statistics, but also increases the popularity of library. Similar result libraries can reach with media and information literacy activities. It contributes both the increase in the use of databases and the improvement of the skills of the population in general. Volunteering is becoming popular and I would like to highlight one initiative of Kulben Region Library. They realized a project dedicated to volunteering in the age group 50 plus. The project included educational lessons and volunteering practice. And some of participants got volunteering practice not only in Latvia, but also abroad. To get additional funding for the development of services and improvement of infrastructure, libraries are very active in project management. As a result, Various innovative technolog technologies are introduced in libraries, self-service devices, 3D, 3D printers, virtual reality glasses, interactive kiosks, robots, etc. Project are, projects are also used for organization of educational and cultural events, introduction of digital services, develop professional development of librarians, as well as for digitization. Uh, here you can see some uh, one example um, as a result of project management. Uh, as a result of project management, there was um, established uh, two uh, family digital activity hoops, one in Latgala Central Library in Daugopils and um, second in Preili Main Library. And these uh, di uh, family digital activity hoops uh, they uh, gives um, uh, a possibility for um, uh, people to use a diverse and modern ECT and also um, uh, gives opportunity to attend in the um, many, many classes, for example, robotics, 3D modeling, and etc. Uh, the idea of libraries as state and municipal unified customer service centers is becoming more popular. 
the benefit is that people can use state and municipal e-services in one place, and it's a library. Librarians are working with these duties additionally to their library duties. For small community libraries, this is an opportunity to save full workload for librarians, to update uh, the inf ECT infrastructure and equipment, and to attract more users. More and more libraries are identifying and demonstrating themselves as community centers. And it's not only user-friendly working hours. It's new and innovative events, as well as accessibility and openness to ideas and activities of the whole community, not only for writers, artists, or interest groups, but also for public organizations and municipal institutions. Here you can see some examples of games that are realizing our libraries. For example, um, a game Murder in the Library, Escape Game, Erudition Competitions, and Photo Orienteering Competitions. Uh, very popular are literary walks, local history hikes, cycling exped expeditions, and other activities with a focus on sport and exploring. Uh, here you can see public discussions, discussions in the library, and uh, these discussions uh, are becoming very, uh, very popular, and it's great because it attracts the attention to a library as a place for different views and citizen strengthening, as well as new users and target groups, including municipality officials and NGO activists. Uh, here you, in the one picture you can see some uh, municipality officials uh, which are participating in one such discussion in the library. Uh, libraries are increasingly showing uh, the power in the field of educational activities. The offer is wide and diverse. Thematic events, practical lessons, references and consultations, exhibitions, lectures, etc. Educational activities organized by libraries are very popular and well used. Especially appreciated is opportunity to particip participate free of charge and nice relaxed atmosphere. Mostly library educational programs are not licensed. However, more and more libraries are offering licensed educational programs. Here you can see some examples of language learning classes uh, of, from our libraries. Uh, here you can see how libraries are training pupils uh, to get um, the bicycle driving license. Uh, and here you can see one of the most interesting um, uh, li library from the last years. It's a um, um, newly opened Ventspils Library, branch library, music library. And it's a public library, uh, which uh, are, is located in a newly built concert hall in Ventspils. And its library um, uh, offers not only printed music and literature about music, but also audiovisual materials, music instruments, and well-equipped acoustic room. So please welcome to visit it. Uh, what comes to the challenges of academic libraries, some of them are facing a lack of suitable premises and infrastructure. The most common reason for this is lack of understanding from the administration. Therefore, many libraries have to work hard to get necessary support for the development of the library. To work in an academic library in the 21st century, you have to be a high qualified specialist. However, the salaries in most academic libraries lags far behind the average income in our country. The largest universities expend already three quarters of the acquisition budget for the purchase of the e-resources. However, such situation we couldn't see in all academic libraries. A large part of our academic libraries can use for this purpose 20, 25 to 50 persons, but some libraries only up to 25 persons of the acquisition budget. In general, Funding for the purchase of e-resources can be considered, considered as insufficient, as well as there is no coordinated approach in this issue. Larger state support and more active coordination between academic libraries in database subscri subscribing matter would help to solve the situation. 
cooperation with academic staff in many academic libraries is not very successful. Sometimes it, it's uh, related only with giving lists of information resources for study and research work. In best cases, it's advisory work on publishing issues, including open access, and giving the lessons on citation and reference managing, management tools. The largest academic libraries are responsible for the administration of the repository of the university. To improve cooperation with academic staff, as well as administration, academic libraries need to be more active involved in the processes of their institutions. This will increase not only the understanding, but also advance the performance of libraries, such way promoting the development of the library and the university. Constant priority of academic librarians is related with the work with the work with information literacy of students and academic staff, which raises the quality of studies, promotes library and its resources. However, a large part of the academic staff still lacks good information skills, but students are not motivated to use high quality information resources. It means that information literacy will continue to be on the top of the agenda for academic level libraries. 20 hour reading rooms are being introduced, providing not only workplaces, but also seating areas, kitchen, food and beverage vending machines. Interesting trend is that, is, uh, that common events and creative study works is becoming a form of cooperation between the library and academic staff. There are two open libraries in the Library of University of Latvia. Together with the 20-hour service, students and academic staff can get full access to all collections, self-service technologies, as well as environment for individual and group work. Of course, this example is the best one in our country at the moment in the field of academic libraries. Um, here you can see one lovely slide um, from the experience of the National Library. It's a silent disco in a lobby of a, li of a library and it was very successful. Of course, our library is running many serious and great projects. For example, cultural heritage digitization project in, co in collaboration with many partners, as well as professional competence improvement project um, to get education in library field. But I would like to end my, presenta my presentation with something jolly to show you that scientific library can be also full of joy and fun. So, if you are ready for the questions, welcome. In, on, the, on the left side, you can see a newly opened uh, li branch library in Yelgava. Very nice and colorful library. And in, on the right side, you can see um, Ventspils um, uh, University Library, which also is very welcoming and very sunny at the moment. So thank you.